That's what I love about a. Uh, that's what I love about a soundtrack. It's like because mostly like it's like you listen to the music because you know you hear it because of the uh, movies hot right now. But it's just like you say like Kendrick actually has like longevity and it's just like oh yeah the movies hype yeah. gone down so you know yeah I'm not gonna it's like. I'm still bumping it. You I, know what I'm I say I'm this when I, yeah, when I first heard it, I was like, "This is cool. I gotta listen to it more." Then I saw the movie. Then I heard it again, and then I started picking shit up. I was like, "This is okay, mm -hmm. cool. I get it. I understand it." But go ahead, yo. what you saying, man? Man, back to this Eminem shit. I had to make sure this shit gets recorded. Um, he said something, and it brought it. It uh, man, it was like a uh, it was like a oh yeah type of moment because me and my friends have been talking about this shit too. He said a line in there. He said. Uh, Lil Pump and Lil Xan imitate Lil Wayne. I said, hmm, hmm, hmm. Hold that thought. So me and my buddies, we was talking literally yesterday. We was talking and then uh, he said something about uh, a IG story fucking black youngster put out. You know, his IG stories are always fucking wild but naked black strippers youngster. and everything. Shout out black youngster, man. So he, he had one, he had a song playing and he was really like, oh yeah, I fuck with that song. Dude is really talented. I said, hold on now, talented. Well, talent, 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 talent. That's the word that kind of stuck me. I was like, oh man. We can't just throw that word around. And then we got into a little debate. He was like, well, you can't say that shit if you think 6 9 is talented. I was like, hold on. I didn't say 6 9 was talented. Turn away! Hey bitch. You gonna scare I said, yeah, <laughs> I, know what gonna do. I, said I said, I said, um, I said, I never said 6ix9ine was talented. I said I I just like him and I like the music. So we got into we got into a, a debate even further into that, and we started talking about industry plants. Because my friend felt like he feels like 6ix9ine is an industry plant. Definitely what, is. What is an industry plant, y'all may ask on YouTube? Well, an industry plant is somebody that you can tell the industry is rooting for. And you just... The niggas that just shoot to the top of the billboard and you, like, ain't even heard the song yet? Industry plants. So then I brought up a few names. And then I, I just thought about all of these names. I said, so Post Malone. I said, Logic. I said, 6 9 Then we get into the retarded niggas. You got Lil Pump. Lil Xan. It's a new nigga now called Lil Skies. I'm just like, bro, niggas literally pop up. You ever heard of him? No. Niggas, these niggas literally pop And you saying this shit like I'm supposed I'm supposed to know Lil Skies? Bro, like, how I'm you sorry, know bro. Lil I don't Skies? know Lil Skies. I'm not checking for no nigga named Lil Skies. <laughs> Listen. Sorry. Mm. I, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm on I'm Earth. Not, I, I, don't not listen, in the sky. I don't listen to the nigga, you know, for real, for real. I, mean, I, don't listen to, I, have, I really don't even know a song. For yeah, real. me either. But, so, what the I'm just saying, like, I know I know who he is. Like mm -hmm. You probably you know what he look like? Yes. See that's crazy. Yeah, the nigga light skin, nigga got tattoos on his face and shit. See, this is this is weird. This is weird. What what's up with all these niggas, man? Yeah. These niggas are weird. Okay, when Wayne did, I guess everybody just and they even they are literally taking everything that Wayne did from the tattoos on the face. To the lean, the lean yeah. to Lil in front of your fucking name, like bro, you can't be any, you can't be your own artist, you can't be your own person, and not even that, like the white people I'm, I'm, I'm specifically talking to. So we talking about like uh, Lil Pump, Lil Zan, all these. His name is fucking Alexander. Where you get little Zan? The fuck, you don't even do Zans. That, that, that makes sense. <laughs> I get it, but it's like, but no, now, nigga. Alexander. No, nigga. Zan. Just call yourself you know, Zan. I have to critique it because shit is stupid, bro. Listen, bro, I feel no, like. And the first thing you thought was Zans. <laughs> He probably was doing it. Hashtag retarded. Listen, man, I say all this to say can we get our fucking music back? I, listen. Cause these, I feel like these niggas are really trying to take this shit and turn it into something that is just, which I, I I think everybody says this in each generation, but I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. These niggas are losing their fucking minds. Okay, so I say this real quick, man. You know, art and uh, talent that's subjective. So I'm ne I'm not going in critiquing these guys. Well, it's not for me. It's not for me. I haven't heard I have ha haven't heard of most of these people, nor their music. But I will say this. The whole thing, like when I hear people say industry plant, to me it's like if you plan on getting paid to do something that you love and you involve other people with it, they may not be into your art as much as you are. 
So they're just here to get paid. So you're talking about the label heads? Okay, yeah, ahead. okay. So, I mean, if you're part of a, a industry or a record label or whatever it is, yeah, that's what they're there to do. They're there to make sure you make them money, make you money, make everybody money. So it's not new. And the thing, and then if you say, again, I don't know a lot of these people, so I can't But can you, can you, it, it's, it's a certain line that we have to draw because it's a lot of talented people that are staying true. And while, while all the while, y'all are literally signing niggas and uh, promoting he heavy what? niggas that are co straight copying. But that goes back to what I was saying earlier, man. It does not matter what type of art that you do, how well you take your art serious. It's about what makes money. We all know that certain shit gets airplay, certain That's shit true. gets passed That's on true. the internet yeah, yeah. because right now, it's goofy. The wave, like. What's the little light-skinned chick or the white chick or whatever it was the that moon. was dressing like the cow? She said, I did this shit. I, I love the cat. Yeah, she because gotta, I know she, she, she got to show, show it the masquerade. She got to show it the masquerade. She threw that. That's the first time I heard of her because she knew <laughs> yeah, that that shit it. got traction and she was going to be able to coast on that. And then let me show you my real shit. That shit crazy, that acting, man. She put out, she put yeah. out that that video like two weeks ago, and two weeks later she got a show at the masquerade. But now people check it. Niggas are trying That's to sell out. Yeah. But see, but what I'm saying is, uh, when it gets back to it, I feel like I guess because I'm older, a lot of stuff I haven't heard, and it's it's not really new for me. It's specifically the white rap, the white rappers. It's like, um, like you got to think about it, man. Yeah, they people gonna hold them up. They gonna push them up. Because yeah, they 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 want to push them because that's their people, that's and true. whether we want to agree or not, most of rap music is supported and brought by like suburban white kids. Okay, but if that was the case, explain the Eminem last album. What do you mean? You say if they wanted to push, if the industry wanted to push their people, explain the Eminem last album. If that was trash. I mean, what, I ain't gonna lie. They no, tried no, to push. Not, no, no, even Eminem when is not what we're Eminem is not what we're talking about. We're talking about. I yeah. understand that, but no. Yeah, but even he specifically said that like. Did they not Eminem, push Eminem? Eminem, Eminem, Eminem? Bro, never mind. Fuck it, never mind. Yeah, but yeah. even even with that, I don't never want to disrespect Eminem no, or any not, other. No, we're not adding him. It's we're a few. We got. It's a few artists that I feel have been true to themselves. I'm talking about the niggas that are not, i.e. all the littles. I'm talking about... No, them. don't don't get me wrong. I'm not giving them a pass for adding, you know, all the tattoos on their face, putting little and all this other shit. They, you know, they say, no, and they can't rap. it's flattering or whatever, you know, great artists stealing shit like that. But you don't, I don't think you go that route. But I, I would never say I'm surprised when people are... Uh, when the studio heads and the labels push bullshit. I mean, and, it, and I don't feel like it's new. I mean, you got to think know. about it. White people rapping is not new. For most people, that started with Eminem. No, that goes back to Vanilla Ice. That goes back to Mark, 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 that, yeah. uh, Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> for back further than that. Now, again, I'm not judging nobody. And then, like, you, see, you mentioned something one day when you were like, well, they're trying to... Um, Gentrify hip-hop. Yeah, but then you you didn't wanna you didn't wanna add Eminem to the uh, conversation but because like, Eminem has always okay. been true to himself. But he listen, never listen. Tried to be regardless, he wasn't. Regardless of the material, okay, his skin tone alone makes him part of the integration. But I mean, I'm see, not but judging his material. This. Regardless, I'm not judging the material uh -huh. because it's good material. Regardless if I like it or not, or if it's my thing. But based on his skin tone, it's integration. It is. Regardless. It is. I'm not saying it's wrong because I feel like everybody should be able to do it. Just be able to, like I've heard Eminem do. He gives credit where his credit's due. Yeah, not, on, life, not, not only that, all of your favorite artists, they will say Eminem is in my top five. They give credit to that nigga because that nigga is five. Not, not because no, I'm forcing him to I be five. It. No, I'm saying like any of your no, favorite I'm just rappers. Saying, I get it. Your favorite, your, your top ten rappers right now, I guarantee you, and they top five is Eminem. Guaranteed. But is do you believe? Is it because he's like, not like, but not and not even because they're trying to push the white face. Like he can rap. He no, raps he better than ninety percent of the field. No, I get it. <laughs> and that, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not questioning his material. But I just want you to see that if we're going to talk about the integration of the music, we cannot say. But Eminem is not a part of this when he is. Well, shit, he Regardless, never, he never let. He never named himself a little little M. Or no, no, we're, no. We're talking. Well, we're M. talking about the <laughs> skin color. And, and that's why that's why that's why I respect him. But what do y'all think about that, man? 
Man, fuck it. I mean, music back. honestly, what you were saying, Ken, I, I, I agree on that because it's, it's been done and I feel like what's hot is, you know what I'm saying, what is going to be pushed always. Just like, and then whatever phase dies down, then the next phase comes. Like, mm -hmm. like when we were all in the crank that stage, you know yeah. what I mean, in the early 2000s. It was mm -hmm. a lean with it, rock with it, walk it out, like, all of the, like, all them songs now would. You know what somebody was talking about the other day? Now. And it made me laugh so hard, man. They was talking about, oh, this was a nasty time. Y'all remember the futuristic era? Of course. Ooh, those that was honestly hard. one of my favorite eras. I just in, in you like that shit. In that like, I ain't even gonna count. No, I, 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 I know I've heard the label, but I'm trying to like. Like, uh, let's see, Young, Young LA, yeah, young J LA, Money, J Money, uh, uh, Travis Porter. Yeah, Travis Porter, Porter was in that thing. Slick, oh. yeah. slick. Yeah, that was a rough time for me. No, I can't, I can't Ooh. say that was a rough time. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't like these Ooh. niggas was just using like. Star Trek beats and no shit. No, no, what I will, what I will, <laughs> what I will say. They just what said, I will I'm say, futuristic. That's not like what that. I will say, they, they, they knew what was coming. Because if you listen they to did. the music now and you listen to that shit, you can hear the influence. You're not going to hear it verbatim, yeah, but right. you'll definitely hear that ignorant, transitional so influence. No, I'm just, no, we was just bringing up. Oh, I thought y'all were saying something wrong. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Uh -oh. it, it was a rough time for me. I thought that was like the worst in my lifetime. I, I thought that was. Word, right? I thought that was the young worst. Young LA and young girl, black me. boy, white boy, the mixtape. Yeah, right. I, 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 I fool with that. I fool with that era. See, I, 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 I hated black boy, white boy by Travis Porter. Black boy, white Bro, boy. First of all, anything, anything, anything with like the rich kids, Travis Porter. Goddamn, I, bro, but I see, not, I can't bro, say bro, I not was with him, bro. Like, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just yeah. saying, just in general, but you know what I'm saying, like that whole like, yeah, that was, I, I, right. I'm not fuck with that shit. He bro. really I'm just is, like, like, bro, like, he think he like, he's a jerk, but he fuck with like Trayway. What's his name? I don't. Understand. Well, I mean, I, I like him too. He kind of pissed me off. Really but, but, okay. Anyway, man. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, don't be uh, got, don't be out here saying I used to jerk like I was you in a did. group. And I know I niggas in, that went to high school no. with you, and you used to be at the bus stop jerking. Yes, the podcast, <laughs> the podcast knows now he's a jerker. <laughs> no, bro. I should play the fucking song. I just knew I did. I just knew I did. You know what I'm saying? Started doing this shit. And then cat daddy pan drop jerk. You know what I'm saying, bro? Bro, stop playing with me, bro. When that shit, when that shit was live, bro, I was killing niggas, beat, but I wasn't in no group and shit. I actually knew niggas. You know what I'm saying? That act that was actually in the group. Ah, you trying it hard. Ah, you are a dub. No, nigga. No, nigga. I can never do this. 2018, The funniest shit was when they used to take the one leg, put it down like that was about to squat, and then it was like, what the fuck? 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 Bro, bro, look, bro, you, do, bro, you do like three of those shits, bro. You was considered five, bro. You did that shit. No, like that's real. Ass, bro. Like, like, y'all niggas weird. Three shits, bro. That was, was a five. tough time for me. I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. The good thing about nightlife in Atlanta, like when you get a little older, like our age right now, when you go to the club, sometimes they have like a little flashback uh, thing, and shit like this comes on, and we still do it regardless, cause we still dab. Yeah. Hey, hey, hold up. No, speaking of the nightlife, bro, bro, people are so fucking weird, bro. What you you finally went out? But this was like a while back, bro, because I was out with my cousin and shit. <laughs> so, like, we was out, like, somewhere in Buckhead or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And my cousin had just went uh, went back inside to go get us some uh, go get us some drinks or whatever. Mm -hmm. And this uh, white girl, she was standing right next to me, but she was with, like, some like some Indian dude, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you would have looked at it, bro, you would have thought, like, they got money, like, I guarantee you. The Indian, the Indian guy got money, too. But, like, the girl, but, like, the girl, like, she was, like, a backpacker, you know what I'm saying? Like, so she was just... You know, she didn't have spirit, money. you know what I'm saying? Like she, didn't have money. But she was like, but she was with the nigga or whatever. Mm -hmm. So for the, I don't know what the hell was taking my cousin so long, but like he was just in there for the longest and shit. But like she was outside talking my fucking head off about like like how like how she went hiking and the snakes that she in, like encountered and shit. Well, she and how like how she encountered the uh the Indian guy or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro. What the fuck? She must not be right now. She must not. She must not. Oh hell no, 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 no. Cause look, she was like, she was like, hey, let me see your phone so I can, uh, you know, so you can follow me on Instagram or whatever. Yeah. Did my phone, you know, she followed herself or whatever. As soon as she left, I'm gonna follow that bitch. <laughs> I'm like, yo, like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Yeah, people man. are weird as hell, bro. And then the Indian guy ain't making no better, bro, cause he was just. Just sitting there smiling. Cause he knew he was getting ready to fuck after y'all got like, done walking. I mean, that's what it was. She was broke. That, yeah, bro, that, that shit is weird, bro. <laughs> Who's about to fuck? That Let's see, weird. man. I feel like getting to one of my favorite parts of the podcast. Uh, this is from Omaha. Sure. 
Ah uh, man, uh, it's 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 appreciation time, goddammit. it! Oh, it's appreciation man. time. Tell tell my guy what, what appreciation time. Oh man, you're really. not familiar. Uh, I our appreciation, I I, be, no. I pretty much during the week I make like an entire set, so it's gonna be like a seven eight minute set of one artist that I just feel like everybody needs to appreciate. So the last two, the first one was The Dream, and then the second one was James. Oh, yeah, I saw the episode for The Dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this one, man. T-Pain. Oh, okay, that's, that's valid. That's valid. We got hits, That is man. valid. He's a very underrated artist. We got valid. I mean, I got a story on this, man. I remember when this came out, I was in middle school. You been high up, it's about out of middle school right here. My dad just broke up with his girlfriend. He continued to play that song over and over again. 